Man, this is so annoying. I can't believe this happened. How did they... How did they... How did Twitch... How did Twitch even... <sighs> I gotta, I gotta update so many things because of this. If it's an entire source code of all their source and internal shit, seems like someone must have done an inside job. I don't know about that, man. I think this just might be a really good hacker that wanted to expose Twitch. But making it super inconvenient for the entirety of Trit a Twitch. Mike is in the way. Okay, um, for the most part, I should be good. Thanks for the resub. Is Twitch exposed now? Yep, completely exposed. 
it just gave away so much data of so many people pretty much the whole website <clears throat> yeah, um What happened with Twitch? Uh There is a huge 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 breakthrough uh on Twitch. Uh, Mixer finally took down Twitch. <laughs> Hold on though, I have to change some other stuff. logged out here Discord ping. Also, happy birthday. Thank you, Yeti. I appreciate that. Hope you uh, change your password. I'm, you know, I 
I'm more concerned about like passwords to accounts being leaked and like potentially stream keys and stuff. It is kind of shitty that, you know, people's revenues were also like just publicly posted. Um, but I mean, like, I don't know what to say. This is kind of weird to be honest. Yeah, I just hope that they don't have addresses and stuff in like that type of stuff, man. Cause like, fuck, man. Twitch is gonna go through a lot of fucked up shit if if it was leaked, you know. Yeah, and then like, and then like, you know, card info as well. Bro, what the fuck, man? I'm actually in the top 10,000. That's bad because then more stuff of mine was leaked. <laughs> Great. I just hope that no addresses and stuff like that were like personal data is, is the, the most important to me. That's all I care about. If, and that's, that's probably what most people do care about. You only saw the revenue and nothing else? Okay, as long as there's nothing else, then I'm... I mean, I'm not really okay with it, but I'm I, I'm okay with it because if nothing else is showing. It's still, yeah, it's still bad. You're also getting a lot of stream errors. I think maybe the site is being influxed with a lot of people 
hopping on the site and wanting to talk about it, maybe. I don't even, even want to like I don't even want to see other streamers revenue like to be honest I don't even want to look at that stuff I don't want to know how much people are making like I don't know I just feel uncomfortable about that stuff Twitch's source code and comment history, security tools, creator payout reports from 2019, SCKs, AWS services. Fuck, man. Hey, so Hanky, what's up? Thank you, man. Uh, yo, change your password on Twitch, man. I don't, I don't know if you heard the news. Also, what is this vape world thing? Amazon was making a game called Vape World? Oh, it's a competitor to Steam that Amazon's been working on? chat i gotta fix stuff on my computer on my pc this sucks man Summer, change your shit immediately if you don't if you know about it. You already did, okay. Yeah, but like can this can this hacker still keep fishing out this information though like like if we change our passwords and shit like that like like what If, if Amazon, someone said that Amazon is apparently known since, since, uh, Monday. So, 
maybe they were able to close it off, but they wanted to keep it hush hush. Now, why'd you do that? So, Hinky, the whole entirety of like Twitch's like uh, source code, uh, people, streamers' payouts, uh, personal information, potentially, passwords, stream keys, everything was leaked. Yeah, you change it in the dashboard, uh, your stream key. Okay, this is not the type of music I want to listen to right now. Yeah, I'm just like concerned as well. Like, yeah, there's there's like a bunch of like anonymous streamers out there that stream anonymously. Like, bro, that's going to be even worse for them. Yeah, for all those VTubers out there, man. What the fuck? won't send you 2FA codes probably because there's so many people changing it and their little bot that does it maybe is being overwhelmed Yo, good night, Sohinki. I really appreciate it, man. I hope to see you in Japan soon. When this country decides to open up again.
Oh no, the anonymous leaker has stated that this is just the first part of the content due to be uh, due to be leaked, but it hasn't stated what they plan to also re release. God of One, thanks for the resub. Also, Scotch, my guy, thanks for the prime. What should we do to protect our accounts? Change your password. And then also, make sure 2FA is on. should tell the discord to also enable f2fa i already uh made a ping yeah these people are not tr these whoever this malicious hacker is obviously is not trying to get money out of this they're just trying to do it for the sake of leaking it yeah and they can't get money it, it's it was publicly released it, like it doesn't unless like their part two leak is gonna be like if you don't give us this much money we're gonna leak it type of thing Maybe an attention cram, but it, it may be a competitor. Are you saying that what one of Twitch's streaming competitors hacked into their system? What? No, that doesn't make sense. No, no, it's just some crazy hacker that uh wanted to expose Twitch. It's, there's no fucking way someone did that, yeah. <laughs> And like, right? Like, they didn't even have a competitor at this point. YouTube Live, I mean, is definitely starting to go up a little bit, but I still don't think they're a competitor. Oh, they already promoted, they're already promoting people to change their password. I don't see anything. Oh my God. This tweet did not age well. Holy.
Oh man. Yeah. Hello. This is your friendly neighborhood burr calling to inform you to enable 2FA on your Twitch account no one B. Uh, thank you, Frosty, for the resub. Um, let's go over to Facebook Gaming. No, no, thanks. You can enable 2FA with a um uh an app uh the what the what's the, what's the fucking app called uh authenticator app Authy yeah there you go there you go oh no wait oh shit does that mean that. I have to message. Well, I love you all, but it's time to sleep. Hopefully things turn out all right. Happy birthday, friend Arix. No one love. Is some friends that are sleeping right now. Hopefully they get it. What's this about the golden kappa? The golden kappa was a lie. What? Wait, just in case I probably shouldn't show any of this on stream to yeah. checks for no reason <laughs> uh i 
I just feel that it's so... Man, it's so, like, fucked that... Even more, like... Lately, Twitch has been really... I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Lately, Twitch has been doing so many awful decisions, and... You know, having this happen... Just, there's just so many things that just keep adding on, adding on, like... Even, like, I don't know, even even their tweet, man. Facebook down, obliga obligatory meme here, like a button below. Like, I don't know, like... There's just so many things that just make them just look so bad. It's just awful, man. I really think that Twitch should really take a br like I know they're a company and I know they're trying to it's it's a hustle they gotta they gotta make money I I get it but I think they really really need to take a break from trying so hard to monetize uh and actually work diligently towards fixing a lot of things and adding features that actually help the community of Twitch as a whole because they've they've been so obsessed with monetizing monetization 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 and you know I like I said I get it you know they're a company they need to make money but still like this is just bad man and then the whole boosting system I I 100% do not believe in that product at all it's gonna do nothing people are gonna waste their money on this it's just a cash grab I, I'm saying it, fuck it. Like, you know, it's it's really, it, it feels so unethical that they're making that boost system. Like it was fine when it, when it had, when it was like, it used to be with points, you can, you can boost streams, but then they changed it to money. It's, it's so unethical to do that. I feel like when their discoverability on the website is, is awful. They are nowhere near, anywhere near YouTube or TikTok when it comes to discoverability. There's no way this new system is going to work at all. If they had anywhere close to as good discoverability as uh, YouTube or TikTok, then yeah, I would feel a little bit better about the system, but it's still about money though. Like I, I feel, I feel like that's weird. And you might say, oh yeah, well, if you don't want to use it, then don't use it or like uh th yeah but it's 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 about the principle you know it's about the principle it's unethical what what that system is and it's it seems not right because small sm smaller streamers out there will feel like they're pressured to ask for these type of things like oh you know instead of gifting me subs uh actually boost my stream and do you know what that money goes to? It actually 100% goes to Twitch. And essentially, that's technically like gray zone competitive competition um, against, uh, you know, the channel's subs, gifted subs and cheers and everything. Like, it's, it's not right. It doesn't feel right at all. <clears throat> People are getting network errors. I, I think the site's getting ambushed right now with a bunch of people on it. Uh, or not ambushed. Like, there's just so many uh, people, like, hoarding to the site right now, I think. Did ads go off? I, I can't even control anything at this point. It's just... Fuck. Uh, 
Um, you think it was ads? Everything's breaking, man. Yeah. Uh, if you happen to miss what I said, just just go back in the vod. That's all I can tell you. I'm sorry about those ads popping up. Uh. But yeah. I think Twitch as a company really needs to wake up like this is this is this is bad Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman left Twitch. Well, I mean, you know, they were offered huge amounts of money to go over to YouTube. And I I think they are 100% uh, good for doing that. They, they should have done it. Uh, and they did, you know. Um, and YouTube knew that they could take them because those two right there are huge were huge assets to twitch i think but i don't know at some point i think twitch just started to neglect and uh maybe not treat them right i don't know i don't know what happened behind the the scenes uh lupo did it for his family really i good on him i mean hey Go for it. Since Dr. Disrespect got banned, Twitch got weird. <laughs> Everyone's still hung up on the doc a Dr. Disrespect getting banned. Shanghai market is gonna crash. Is it actually now known why he got banned? No, it's still not known. It's so weird. It's really weird. Like, it's like it's like a a murder mystery at this point. You think Doc did say it? Wait, he did? When? I thought he only said, like, I know why they, they, he said, he said this. I know why they, uh, they banned me and I'm taking them to court for it. That's what he said. His legal team probably told him not to say it. Yeah, he probably can't say it because they probably took it to court. Does anyone know if he won or not? Probably not. Anyway, um, this is really bad news. I really hope that, you know, personal information of people are not leaked. I hope that addresses are not leaked. I hope, you know, bank accounts are not leaked. I really hope that they don't leak that stuff. That's, that's really bad. Yeah, I feel especially bad for uh people that hide people that hide their identities.
This leak might even help his lawsuit. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. You're sure that uh, credit card info and such is protect? Well, you know what? Actually, I think all of Twitch's payments are actually done through a third party. I can't remember what the site or what it was called. Uh, what was it called again? Xola. There you go. There you go. So maybe that information will be saved because Xola has it instead of Twitch. Well, apparently Summer, the the hacker released uh, saying saying that like that's only a part of what they they got. What did uh, what did they say? The anonymous the anonymous leaker has stated that it's just the first part of the content due to be uh, due to be leaked, but hasn't stated what they plan to also release. That's what concerns me. Yeah, man, I've, I have so many nudes on Twitch. Ah, I mean, uh, fuck. I have I have 125 gigabytes of nude uh or uh nudie photos yeah you're already on my only fans so i don't need those i mean Again, uh, if you're just coming in, uh, Twitch had a really, really bad, probably the worst it's ever had, uh, leak of 125 gigs worth of data, including, uh, passwords, potentially stream keys, uh, streamers, uh, payouts, they released payouts. Uh, so everyone make sure you reset your passwords on your Twitch accounts. And also if you stream, reset your stream key and also activate your 2FA as well. Just in case. Asmin Gold, Asmin Gold is going to lose all of his hair after that. Bro, at least he still has hair. Should you also change your Amazon password or just Twitch? I, I think it's just Twitch. I hope it's not anything with Amazon stuff. Fuck, man. That'd be really bad, too. Looks like Iris is going to have the competition for the sexiest bald man on Twitch. Dude, there is no one as bald as me on Twitch, okay? You know what? There's nobody out there.
Your head has an amazing shape, unlike some of us. Actually, my head shape has gotten worse over the years. I don't know if it's constant headphone usage or it's just I'm getting old. Both probably. Oh, well, way to make me feel better, chat. Yeah, say both. <laughs> <laughs> What's my skincare regimen? Uh, actually, I put three different things on my my face. My wife got me into it. Uh, I don't know what the fuck they are, but I just use the stuff that she uses on her face. Do a promo later. They're all, I think they're all Japanese brands. I don't know. Yeah, man, skincare is important. Got to make yourself look good. I mean, I don't really consider myself looking that good. <laughs> I think it's the effect of the camera. Wait, hold on. There you go. You can see, oh, look how bad it is. you're hot bro oh thanks dave you're pretty hot yourself i saw you yeah. oh hey yo hey yo oh hey yo hey vampy thanks for the thanks for three years imagine not having acne i've never had problems with acne i think it's because i never ate too many sweets pop and tweets guys the leak for how much streamers make is it real i make way more than that i'm not number 42 i won't believe it and i implore you to not believe it either i swear i'm one of the richest ones on the plant uh, on the platform i literally made among us i won't believe it <laughs> i too am forced into the male bald hairstyle <laughs> you're rocking it with pride hey thanks uh avorn suki i appreciate that Yo, be proud be proud of it man like don't be don't be ashamed to be to be uh bold i mean i'm bold i'm bold i'm not bold i'm bold there's a difference you know um but yeah you know the funny thing is is that with all this happening with all this happening man so many different things can be now proven with a lot of numbers that are released how's controversy is gonna come back dude i feel i don't know man like i feel like that sucks that the guy didn't even move into his house and he was already doxxed and people knew where he lived i don't know man So Twitch about that sub split. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. Doxing in general is just is just fucking stupid, man. Wait, what did, what did you say? You started losing your hair at 25? Hey, man. Don't worry about losing your hair. Just fucking rock it, dude. I don't know why, but like... Social media and the media in general just has a problem with like people being bald. And... It doesn't help when like so many... Like streamers and like content creators out there are constantly talking about like making fun of like people balding and stuff it makes people it, it makes other people insecure it's it's not good it's not good for and then it makes it makes like little kids like there's so many young kids that uh that obsess about people balding and 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 people that are bald and it kind of paints I feel like it paints people in the wrong way when it shouldn't be you know I don't think I don't think people should be ashamed of that of shit man Ledman society for world domination stop being I ashamed new overlord Eric and Rue. stop being ashamed of being bald or b going bald it's really not a big deal there's a lot of there's a lot of people that actually find balding uh uh attractive hey man i have a wife and a kid you know bald being bald doesn't matter hey anonymous thanks for the thanks for the tip <laughs> Look at Vin Diesel. It says attractive man Kappa. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> um, yeah. Plus in a fight, you have no hair to grab for advantage. Yeah, dude. You wake up. Everyone talks about, oh, I have to do my hair. You wake up. You don't have to do your hair. I'm done. Take a shower, dry your hair. Oh, what hair? You don't have to dry it. It's done. Blow dry your hair? Uh-uh. No blow drying my hair. It's done. Oh, it's uh, you got too much hair? It's hot in the summer? Oh, don't worry. I don't have any hair. It's not hot on my head. Huh? Hello? And then... If it's winter time and you're like, oh, but what about your head getting cold? Who cares? Wear a beanie. It's not a big deal. Feels good. When you're when you're bald and have a beanie on your head, that shit feels good. Uh, Vorn uh, Suki, thanks for the thanks for sub. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I'm sick of people, like, being ashamed about being bald or, or going bald. I'm, like, seeing it, man. I'm, like, seeing people get upset. I see these, I see these, like, people on the internet, like, some of these content creators, they barely have, like, like, a hairline that's going up just barely, and then they're, like, flipping out, like, oh, I'm balding, I'm balding, I'm balding. Like, come on, man. Uh, it seems to only be Twitch that was affected. Uh, we don't know if Amazon was also affected. We're uh, hoping not Amazon wasn't affected. Tell this to Asmund Gold. Man. A lot of people joke how 
he's like bald and and stuff and even people do it like towards moon i don't know i guess maybe they like to embrace the meme or something but those two are not even bald man and i don't feel like they're really like balding at all either like they still got they still got hair on their head and also it looks good on them i think i think they look great i think both of them look great the way they are and also by the way who fucking cares if they are having their hair thin or i don't know uh one sec i lost my appetite i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator Am I okay? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, Twitch is having a lot of problems though, including being severely hacked and leaking everyone's information. that was true people tend to judge you on your looks they don't bother to experience your personality uh Vornsuki uh, Vornsuki man I sucks man it's always like that it's the same as like you know you see you see those like YouTube videos of those like for example gold digger pranks well where like they approach someone and they they ask for help and stuff and you know they're like ah you know whatever like and then they some like fancy expensive car pulls up and they actually get in the car and like oh well i guess i'll see you later type of thing and they immediately change like oh hey you know maybe maybe we can like go get some coffee or something like you know and it just sucks that people just immediately like kind of judge you off your looks you hope so oh, those are staged i know that like some of them are staged but some of them i think are actually like true i think they're some of them are actually like because uh they're fa uh some of them have faces that are uh blurred out Yeah, some of them are def some of them are definitely staged. <laughs> totally when I went to buy my car, none of the sales staff would even give you the time of day. Yeah, because people base off you base you off your looks. They people won't people don't but once they see that you have money, you're like, oh, I want to talk to this person now. And it's so fucked up. Chad, if you saw Eric's on the street, would you try to know him? I'm going to be real with you. I would be real with you. If someone saw me on the street and you, they didn't know who I was, 100% they would not want to get know me. I, I guarantee you. I, I, I get this a lot, actually. And I'm very in tune with like, uh, uh, like I'm very, what's, what's, uh, what's the word? Like I'm in tune of, uh, 
body language. I'm very in tune with body language. And I pick up on a lot of body language. I'm very, like, sensitive to that, seeing that stuff. And people always are very wary of me when they see me. Uh, but once they're forced to talk to me, like, for example in the situation where i'm like at a i don't know like let's i'll give an example like a like a bar in tokyo they see me right away and they're like it's already like oh like here we go this guy is a skinhead uh foreigner right away like i can see i can see them getting nervous as i'm walking up but when i talk after i talk for a little bit they warm up but it still takes a little bit because they're like, oh, okay, you know, I guess his looks doesn't really match what he's like. You really hurt, hate that term skinhead? It's it's used a lot in Japan. They say skinhead though. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure it's like that on Twitch, for example. Like people, if people click on my stream. They're like, oh god, look at this fucking bald guy. And then they'll just click off. I know there's people like that. I know there's people like that. But hopefully the majority out there tries to look past that. Uh, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't want those people anyway. I don't. I really don't. I don't really care for that. They're missing out. Uh... Because you do this so long and you see the type of comments and you start to kind of get an idea of what people actually think about you when they first see you. It 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 definitely hurts the the self-esteem for one. Uh but you kind of get used to it. But it also kind of gives you an idea like wow, people actually think that way about me. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Like, you know, I just need to get on with my life um Tim the Tatman has no hair and he has tons of people watching he he's been established for a very long time and he has a definitely a much bigger uh personality I guess you could say um when you look at Tim the Tatman dude the guy's big buff tattoos people just focus and he, you know, he's like nice and like loud and, and you know, he's, that's, that's him. He's more boisterous. There you go. And that I feel stands out so much as for him, but also the already established, like, you know, viewership makes people kind of, it's easier for people to look past that. Maybe, I don't know. This is just speculation. Um, and he's, yeah, he's, he's really charismatic. I mean, that's why he got there. Uh, but people don't focus on his baldness at all. They don't. They look past that. And he does a very good job at, I guess, getting people to look past that. Which I admire and look up to for him. Uh, because he's, he's very funny. He's very, he's very charismatic. Time to hit the gym. <laughs> but, you know, I don't like to let that stuff bring me down. Like, I've, I've gotten to the point that, you know, I just do me. And the best thing to do is always accept yourself. For who you are you know i'm not i'm not bald by choice it's unfortunate from health issues that i have uh but it's okay i mean i just kind of like try to move on and not make it about that
Yeah, he definitely has a golden voice. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a father now. I need to work on that beer belly, not the gym. Dude, I don't drink any alcohol. What's the point of drinking alcohol if you're just going to drink it by yourself? Fuck that, man. Depression. Well, see, I've never been someone to to drink by myself. I mean, sometimes I'll, I'll drink with chat, but that's like very rare. Like once or twice a year, maybe. Um, but I'm a very extroverted person. I, I, man, I like, I like going out and being with friends and socially drinking. That's, that's, that's more of my valley, uh, alley, you know? Yes. Yeah, strictly social drinker. Like, it's just not fun. It's not fun without friends or people, you know? Hey buddy, what do you mean Twitch got compromised for your title? Uh, basically this, this hacker, uh, compromised like a whole bunch of data, like 125 gigs worth of, uh, data source code, uh, from Twitch, uh, passwords, uh, potentially stream keys, uh, and then also released a bunch of streamers, uh, revenue payouts, uh, bunch of stuff and they said that they haven't the hacker announced that they that was only part one of what they were going to release apparently so hey change your password activate 2FA when was the last time you got sushi I ate it uh I ate it yesterday um my wife uh bought some sushi for me for my birthday Yeah, reset your stream keys just in case. <clears throat> Have you considered fasting to get rid of your health problems? Uh, no, I, I don't know. Like fasting seems a little bit something I wouldn't want to do. Oh man. Yeah, no thanks on that. The ads crashed again? Wait, what? Why are the ads crashing the player for you guys? I can't stop it! I can't stop it! Yeah, exactly what Visual said. Taking medical advice from the chat is not not a good idea. <laughs> Yo. No one loved. Uh, hey Grim, thanks for the reason. Does anyone know how much longer for this game we have? I don't know if anyone happens to know. Cuz I I feel I feel bad like just stopping it. Actual feeling. Thanks for the prime. Thank you so much. What game? Um, I I already forgot what the name of the game was. Chat. What was the name called? 
Uh, imposter something. Imposter factory, yeah. Third chapter is apparently the final one, says Google. Okay. Uh, maybe we can finish it up. I'm not going to stream. Wednesdays I don't stream, so I guess I can just stay up late and... Yeah, we can finish this. I have less than one hour left, apparently. Oh, then I'm down to finish it. Okay, uh, I know a lot of people are probably not going to be interested in the game. In this game, it's totally fine, especially since you're going to be coming at the end. Uh, <laughs> we're playing this really like deeply emotional, feelsy game right now uh, that just came out. So it's probably not going to make much sense. Chaos wins. Hey, thanks for gifting a sub. But yeah, we're going to switch up to it. It was great talking with you guys about everything. Um, good talking, good talking. Uh, but real quick, I'll be right back. Give me one second. finally here you ready okay Linry, do you hear me yeah the scene is ready loaded should we uh prepare for something just being there is enough we'll have your data stream you only need to stand there and observe okay i'm good at that well then shall we begin Begin the final test. Oh. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Okay, the demo scene is starting. You should see the machine powering up. Yeah, it just did. Good. Keep your eyes on it and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh huh. Do you see anything? No, it seems to be running normally. Although... Although... There's some weird sound. 
What kind of weird sound? Is the machine sh short circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from. See? Oh, the system is almost ready. What are you seeing? Yeah, the cat just ditched me. Don't move. What are you? Why can't I get a reading on you? You already know why. What the fuck? Then are you the reason? When I unplugged from here earlier. When I logged off, there was nothing. Nothing but the machine to log back in with, as if the entire world just vanished. Am I not real either? Oh my god, no way! Oh, no, you're real. <laughs> that was way too dank for a second. Uh, relative to this place, at least. Uh... <laughs> Linry? So is she dead? Then how many? Too many. What is it talking about? Too many what? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. Is this a memory inside her memory? Possibly. I may have created your world. But another had created mine. Over and over until after how however many layers. At the bottom of the stack, there exists the world that ran the first simulation. But as each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighed down more and more. Until finally, even if just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract, it would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. Tell me, are we at the top of that stack? You're correct. Then... There's something that I still don't get. Why don't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? Why are you here? Even bothering to talk to us about any of this? Why do you even bother talking to him? Hey, I'm right here. That's different. He's... He's... Linry? Tell me, who are we to you? To me? To me, you are no one. But then again, that doesn't mean much. 
I'm not so different from that rice spot of this world, after all. You don't look like a rice bot. No, I certainly hope not. Were you also an AI refit for the simulations? Well, not exactly. But I sure do clean up after your mess just the same. Those worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows the laws of physics. To a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to m manually prevent everything imploding. Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard for the laws of physics. But that's all a story for another day. Hey, what are you... She flies away on that. Shall we? Oh my god. lot of tangents out there beyond this one each moment blooming into countless branches of their own these are parts of the previous game but this particular tangent is being observed because it's special it's special because despite being at the top of the stack it was almost identical to base reality. There, everything began unfolding the same way. Your childhood, your youth. Your diagnosis. And just like here, against all odds, you kept pushing on. Never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can while you still could. You learned all you could. Tried as hard as you could. You met someone. Someone you imagined the future with. And graduated into a career where you felt you could make a difference. For a while, at least. Until it became something else. Too much to bear. You escaped. Traveled the world. And wondered why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality where we're from, it all followed the same course. That is, up until that point. When you came back from the trip and found out you were pregnant. When you became ill halfway through the pregnancy. When you had to make that choice between yourself and the child. You chose to delay your surgery until he was due. You chose the child. Congratulations, but please rest well. You need some time to recover, but we're qu quite behind already. We'll be transferring you to surgical soon. Surgical unit soon. I understand. How's he doing? He's okay. You're the one we should be worrying about. He's tiny. Our little Toby Raynard. Actually about that. 
I've been thinking, well, maybe, maybe he should take your surname instead. My surname? I mean, I can't think of any reason, uh, of any reason why not. But after all that, I can think of lots of reasons why he should. I'd love that. Although, Toby doesn't ring as well with Watts, does it? Do you have something else in mind then? Wait, was Tope... Wait a second. Is Neil Watts from another game that I'm forgetting? Neil, huh? Yeah, I like it. He's the main character from the other games. Oh, fuck. I played the games, by the way. Huh. I just forgot the names. Our little Neil Watts. So this was... A... Uh... Prequel. In base reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. He made it through childhood just fine. With all the love it you and Quincy could give him. But as for you, you never fully recovered. With the delay, the treatment couldn't revert your decline. And you spent much of your remaining years bedridden. Wait, so... What the... What was all this stuff that we saw? It was reversed. Still, perhaps out of the will to be there for him. You lived long past your prognos prognosis. It was the inserted... It was an inserted memory. To watch him grow up, even if just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends to leave something for him for when he grows up. Oh. You left him a piece of your memories. At the time, there was no way to decrypt it. But still, someday, you hoped. When it rains, it pours. People rain. Soon after you passed away, your son was diagnosed with the same hereditary condition. But perhaps it was a reminder of his limited time here. Memento Mori. It stirred up something within him, pushing him further, as it did for you. And although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close, he wasn't successful with everyone. Slowly, from the very basics, he worked and worked all the way past the research you left behind. But despite it all, when the time came, again and again, he was rejected by the foundation over your incident. So instead, he sought an alt alt alternate, alternate, alternate route. He pivoted to an external company that licensed the imperfected technology. And rather quickly, he made it into the ranks with some help from a friend. It was a company where he could still access the code and hardware of the technology. A company that used it to fulfill last wishes by implementing the memories of a new life. Oh man, a company called Sigmund Corp.
It's been many years since then. So basically, her consciousness in this memory is learning about what her son did. In that time, he's aided countless patients and witnessed as many lives go by. All while perfecting the technology on his own accord with the hardware and data access. And today in that world, he succeeded. The world that we're in and every world in this, in this stack it stands upon. They're the result of the first functional stress test from the machine he perfected. The first successful test. This machine he built, was it... Was it for... Uh, what, what is it for? A window to a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're, they're gone. So that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral could have a lasting place in this world and without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to to see and experience all the different possibilities this life has to offer all my life here since the day he was born I wish I'd made a different, cho a different choice then I'm so glad that somewhere out there I did I'm so glad he's made it almost time now that we've gone beyond the boundary of set events this tangent needs to be terminated terminated it's just one tangent can't you let it run just this once but it's not just this one tangent out of the countless paths the test generated this is not the only one that reached this reached this point as I speak to you on this roof I'm also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. They too managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't terminate them, the foundation will fail and take everything with it regardless. Way too dank. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But the worlds aside, I might have a way to give you, you more time. When you're ready, come with me. There's a place we need to go to. Anomaly detected. Right spot. You guys got here just in time. Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm afraid not. Where we're going, there is no protocol for them. They'll have to stay here. Oh. Wait, what's this shiny thing over here? Groundskeeper will be living. It would be living. Oh, that's it. But we'll never have the perfect rice if they stay here. Was that fountain always like that? Yeah, um, Linry? I'm ready. So, where are we going? Somewhere far, but you'll be among good company. Now, this ride might be a bit more intense than the last one. Would you like the front seat or the back? It really doesn't matter to me. I guess Linry can sit up front. All right, your call. Wow. 
Whoa, actual cutscene. We've reached our station. Looks like we're the last to arrive. Last ones? What is all this? Oh. Are these all versions of you from tangents where I materialized? Yes. The salvageable ones, at least. Salvageable ones? Well, we can't extend every rogue version of you, but... If we consolidate the ones similar enough, then, there, then there'd only be one, one set to deal with. That is the way to end the rogue infinite loops, but still keep you, in a sense. Speaking of which... I think everyone's here. There. Isn't that all better? Sorry you have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. What are you doing? Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. Finally. Some peace and quiet. All these lights. It's time for them to rest so others may keep shining. Beyond that gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. One where your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. It will be a linear illusion with little resource required to maintain. But to you, it will feel like a lifetime as real as your own. Um... As rover? Okay, good. Yeah, sorry. The ads are causing... Yeah, like, Twitch is, like, all fucked up right now. Um, but to you, will feel like a lifetime as real as your own. Think of it as a parting gift. You hear that, Linry? We get to live the perfect timeline. Linry? There's no point. I'm beyond grateful that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What truly happened beyond this world is already set. Why would another virtual ride matter when not even our own did? I've already seen all there is to there is two to see. All that truly matters anyway. What? 
What if you haven't? I mean, I certainly had my world shattered too. In more ways than one. But if anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality isn't base reality? They may not be the rea the reality, but they were still our realities and all that we'd known. Man, this is too much for my head. I mean, who's even to say that hers is truly the ultimate end of the stack? What's beyond that gate? It may not be real relative to her, but oh fuck. But what did it say? Shit. Uh, and who knows? Maybe it'll be a glimpse of a reality that is truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit. And time, and time to grow old together. Real uh, relative to us. Okay. What do you say, Linry? Want to go on one last trip together? You'll wait for us until the end? I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. Go on. Your new life is waiting. A reality where everyone pog champs. What? Why did it spit out a a child Linry? the lifeline where Linry is has no illness but what about oh there he is oh thank goodness yeah he just came out of a portal <laughs> That was kind of weird. Is she a teacher now? Oh, dude, they even went to Japan. Oh, fuck yeah. Man, I played to the moon such a long time ago. I can't remember some of this stuff.
happy ending where everything went right? Is it truly a happy ending though? It just seems like a a fake reality. In a sense. Like for example, what if the reality of Alex, the Twitch streamer, is a fake reality. What if I'm a famous basketball player that dunks on people? Have you ever thought of that? Maybe my destiny was to live in Japan because the other me in a reality is actually Japanese in another reality is actually Japanese. But this reality I'm American, Alex. And in that reality, I'm a S sushi chef yeah well we had a good run huh the bestest it's about time This is all I could manage to do. Was it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But... I just wish he were actually here. He is here. He's been here this whole time. And from now on, he always will be. From now on, everybody will be. Well, that was a trip. Is there anything after the credits?
Man, when I hit that stop streaming button, I need to go and hug my wife and kid. After seeing this, holy shit. John Silva, thanks for the gifts and subs, buddy. How you doing? Oh, hey, um, fuck. I just realized. Yo, add me on Discord. Uh, we'll talk about the Pokemon thing, yeah? If you're still wanting to do it, that is. Get yourself a rice cooker too. <laughs> I need to go hug my my rice cooker as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Isn't this Neil? Yeah. There you are. I just can't hold it in anymore. I must confess to you. That's not funny. It's a little funny. So, did I handle that right? All right. Yeah, thanks. Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline, though. It only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that already exists here. Without that, there was nothing to overcome. It passed by without even a meaningful ripe ripple. Did I DM you back on Twitter? Yeah, I did. With, uh, with my Discord name. Right? Didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Are you familiar with the Library of Babel? I can be. Should I download the encyclopedia on it? Uh, no, that's all right. It's this theoretical library of books containing every possible combination of letters and punctuation. Anything that can be written or ever will be can be found there. So it's mostly nonsense and noise, but once in a while you reach a book, reach for a book and it just happens to be exactly what you need. What is that? A perimeter, a perimeter breach attempt. I got to go. Perimeter breach? What perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... Rice bots is attacking? <laughs> oh. Someone's ringing the doorbell. Neil! I don't have your stapler, I swear. Oh, don't be silly. We were just nearby. Nearby now? Very far an hour ago, before deciding to be nearby. Yeah, what are the chances, right? So anyway, we were gonna go somewhere red. You in? How red? Surprisingly red. Hard pass. Jeez, somebody's a party pooper. Well, all right, I guess no all all you no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. I said, I guess no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. That is, we might as well, Neil. Who knows when we'll, uh, who knows when we'll be the next time we be able to. How'd you change so fast? It's a coat, not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. He wants ice cream. Oh, uh, you forgot to close the... <laughs> Somebody in there? Hello?
Bro, are they gonna have yet another game? The next game is going to be about Sora. Okay, guys, I am exhausted. I'm going to wrap it up like real quick and just go because I just need to, I just need to get off. I'm super tired. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me on my birthday. I really appreciate it. Uh, much love to all you guys for all the support as well. And if you uh, enjoyed the stream, don't forget to follow. Much love to you guys. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And I don't stream on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So there won't be a stream uh, technically later today for America. So I'll see you guys Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys again. And have a good day. Oh, also, don't forget to change your passwords. Bye. I think for you. Back at me, Tai. Kotobo da do de. Yube o otoki tsuite. Usaka Heta na kuseti Wala enai Eka obisete I love you for Roku di iwata Kuchimeta de Homani Pukiyo Nanoni Nanoni Sayonara way Thanks again for watching guys. Also, let's go raid Dave. Say hello to him. I'll see you guys next time.